My name is Sean Brigman. I'm a Spokane tribal member, and I also descend from many of the regional plateau tribes. So that means I descend from the Arrow Lakes, the Kalispell, and the Shushua. And all three of those groups are actually documented as employing historical bark sturgeon nose canoes. Well, I make two canoes. I make a bark sturgeon nose canoe, which was founded by the ancestors since time immemorial. And I also make a contemporary canoe, which I have named the Salish and Sturgeon Nose Canoe. And both canoes actually have two separate techniques. Um, with a bark sturgeon nose canoe, the technique is you're basically harvesting and then hand splitting every material for that canoe. Now with my contemporary Salish and Sturgeon Nose Canoe, I'm using contemporary materials. The technique I'm using there is kind of like a drum. I'm stretching ballistic nylon onto a frame. I studied abroad in Copenhagen, Denmark. And while in Copenhagen, I visited the Viking Ship Museum for a, like a, a class project to write an essay. And the moment I walked into that museum and I saw their Viking ships recovered from the fjord and then displayed in that museum space, and so I knew immediately that that's what I wanted to do was recover our plateau tribal canoe culture back home. Well, without the canoe culture, we lose our ties to the land, to the waterways, to those marriage patterns, um, those food gathering patterns. And so to bring that back in starting in 2012 to now 2022, that's what we're doing. We're bringing back that, the memory of the food gathering patterns, our historical marriage patterns, and our attachment to the geography. With the Spokane River, this is one of the historical salmon fishing sites here at the confluence of the Leita and Spokane River. And so some of the fishing implements that we would employ here would include the salmon dip net and the two-pronged salmon fish spear. Well, for me, the fishing implements complete the circle. Um, the canoes were historically used to travel from village to village and we would pack those canoes with all of our tools, our housing, and our salmon fishing implements. So everything would get packed into the canoe. I have actually view my canoes as adult baby boards. I remember returning home from elementary school, like in the first, second, and third grade. And every time I would get home, I would pull my baby board off the wall. And the, my baby board is one of the most important items of my youth. And on that baby board, there was a piece, it's called a face guard. It's a, like a wooden willow piece on there. And I used to rub my hands on that piece, wondering, wow, how was this made? How was that piece of wood bent? And then sure enough, you know, as an adult, and when I started making canoes about 10 years ago, the very first piece that I bent on my very first canoe was no different from that piece that was on my baby board hanging on the wall. Well, since 2012, um, you know, my main focus was on the integrity of the bark sturgeonose canoe. My work has evolved since then by looking at opportunities to manifest our traditional bark sturgeonose canoe heritage into new art disciplines. So for example, in 2020, 2021, I had an opportunity to be an artisan residence at the Museum of Glass in Tacoma. And then working with the hot shop team at the Museum of Glass, we were able to collaborate on glass blowing a piece that really represented the bark sturgeon nose canoe, but manifested in a new media. Well, I want people to know that the plateau cultural heritage has sustained the indigenous people since time immemorial. And I just want people to know that, that our plateau culture is not this static relic of the past. It's actually culturally relevant today in the present. What keeps me going is just knowing that all of that material that I harvested, and I spent all that love, blood, sweat, and tears in, in processing that material, and it's now sculpted into a, a beautiful sculptural form. It's amazing to know that all those materials were once alive in the forest, and now they've been sculpted into a new form that can live in a new way. The canoe lives on.